G'day, I'm Lockie from Miner's Den Bendigo and tonight's top tip on the Mine Lab show, I'm going to show you how to set up your GPX 6000 in noisy EMI areas. The first thing we have to ask ourselves is, what is EMI? Or what does even EMI even stand for? It stands for electrical magnetic interference. It has things to do with power lines, phones, stormy weather. I can start to see today already around us, it's quite windy, it's dark, a nearby storm is approaching. So I would expect to get some EMI responses out of my detector today. One thing we should know about detectors is they are motion detectors. They need to be moved to detect targets. So if I turn my detector on and sit it still like this is, and I start to get signals, then I know that EMI is present. So what I'm gonna do now is turn my 6000 on. It's going to do its normal startup by doing a short five second auto tune and we'll see how quiet the detector is. So there it goes. I'm gonna to listen to the threshold now. And I can start to hear it's fluctuating slightly. There is a lot of EMI present now. So what I would do is give it another auto tune until I got it quiet. Now, if it doesn't get quiet, I'd look at backing my sensitivity down if that doesn't help, I'm going to share a tip with you now so you can get rid of it. So I've done two auto tunes now and it hasn't really improved and I've also backed my sensitivity down and I still hear interference. So what I'm going to do is get the 14 inch double D coil out, which is a noise cancel coil. So this coil here is more situated for our noisy EMI areas. When I connect it to the detector, automatically sees that it's the double D coil and puts it into a noise cancel mode for EMI. Now a double D coil is split down the middle the whole way and has two opposing Ds each side, hence the name double D. This coil is also handy on the salty conditions as well, particularly over in the west. And what we can do inside the detector is select the salt mode and we'll be able to keep up with those nasty noises a little bit easier. I'm going to put it on the 6000 and you'll start to hear it's a lot more stable and quiet. Now that I've got my double D coil on, I'm going to turn the detector on. It's still going to do its five second auto tune, but it's going to select the noise cancel mode for EMI, which is what I want, and it should be a lot quieter. So I'm turning it on. It's going to start its auto tune. and I can automatically hear that that's so much quieter. And I haven't even done a ground balance yet, but I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna go and find some gold. Well, there you go, guys. That's a short little tip of how I get around EMI with my GPX 6000. Just remember, if you're doing all those auto tunes and dropping your sensitivity down with your standard coil and you can't get it quiet, chuck the double D on and away you go. I'm Lockie from Miner's Den Bendigo. That's been tonight's top tip on the Mine Lab Show.